NASA engineers are working to fix a problem that delayed yesterday's launch of the Artemis 1 mission. It is a high stakes moment for the space agency, which will spend $90 billion on the Artemis program through 2025 with the goal of establishing a base on the moon. But first, NASA needs to test the rocket and capsule that will eventually take astronauts, including the first woman and person of color, to the moon's surface nearly 50 years after the Apollo missions. Joining us now is Lori Garber, NASA's former deputy administrator and author of Escaping Gravity, My Quest to Transform NASA and Launch a New Space Age. So good to have you with us, Lori. Thanks for joining us. Give us a sense of what you think is going on right now at Kennedy Space Center and, and how concerning are these tech problems? Well, the team was exhausted yesterday, so I'm sure they're getting back to work this morning to determine whether they can fix what happened enough to do another launch attempt on Friday. This is a really important mission because NASA has um, been at it for 12 years. It has cost $43 billion, and NASA, in a way, feels, um, I think, that it's competing with the private sector, who has been successfully launching astronauts these last couple of years and SpaceX. But I think that's the wrong way to look at it. I hope they're not feeling that way, because in um, our nation, you know, the, the government drives technology and the private sector should be partnering with them. We, The private sector has really um, gotten out ahead of NASA in the launch arena, and I think these delays are embarrassing for the agency. I mean, let's talk more about that. Artemis is already years behind schedule. It's far more expensive than originally thought, and unlike SpaceX, which you mentioned, or Blue Origin rockets, NASA's space, space launch system isn't reusable. So what makes this return to the moon so important? And in your mind, is it worth it? Well, I think returning to the moon is a wonderful thing, a good goal, but doing so with this old technology at such a cost is um, problematic. I think that ultimately, when we left the moon 50 years ago, we thought going back would happen sooner. But if it hadn't, we had certainly would have thought we would be doing it with new technology and with reusability and a lower cost so that exploration would be sustained. You know, NASA uses the words uh, sustainable and we're going uh, on the moon to then learn how to go to Mars. But in actuality, these are reused shuttle parts and they aren't working so well. All right, Lori Garver, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We, we appreciate your perspective and your expertise on this one. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.